For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Hawaii seek recognition? Mr. Chair, I seek recognition to uh, speak in support of my amendment that is before you. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number four, printed in House Report number 112-144, offered by Ms. Hanabusa of Hawaii. Pursuant to House Resolution 347, the gentlewoman from Hawaii, Ms. Hanabusa, and a member opposed will each control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Hawaii. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. This amendment simply seeks from the administrator of the EPA to submit to Congress within one year and then annually thereafter a report on any increase in waterborne pathogenic microorganisms, which includes protozoas, viruses, bacteria, and parasites, toxic chemicals or toxic metals, such as lead and mercury, in waters regulated by the state under the provisions of H.R. 2018, including any further amendments to this bill. Mr. Chair, there is nothing as important to all of us, especially for those of us in Hawaii, as water quality. We are the only island state, and of course, our pristine waters are very critical to us for our major economic engine, which is tourism. And I don't believe it's any different for any other state, especially those of us who have bordering oceans and even those which may have navigable streams within our borders. Water is critical. 20 2018, what it does is it simply states that the states now have the rights to regulate water quality. By doing that, however, we need to know what they're doing and to ensure for all of us and our constituents that the states are doing a good job. All this amendment is seeking from the states is for the EPA to report to us so we can know if, in fact, they're doing what this bill gives them the authority to do, which is to make the decisions regarding water quality. For that reason, Mr. Chair, I ask for the support of this amendment. And I Does the gentlewoman reserve? reserve? Yeah, I reserve. Gentleman from Ohio, what purpose does he rise? I wish to claim time for opposition. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the Anabasu Amendment authorizes the EPA to study the effectiveness of cooperative federalism once H.R. 2018 is enacted. While the amendment seems to carry a bias in that the EPA can only report an increase of pathogens or toxins and not reductions after enactment of H.R. 2018, the EPA will have very little to report upon. H.R. 2018 will lead to a better water quality decisions made at the local level and this will benefit the environment for all of us. H.R. 18, okay, nothing in the HR 2018 would lead to water quality degradation. None of us in this chamber would support it, if that were the case. Noting the bias of this amendment, if the sponsor would like to ask for unanimous consent request to modify her amendment to modify the line five after increase by adding the phrase or reductions, we then would be able to accept the amendment. I reserve. I balance my time. Gentleman from Ohio reserves. The gentlewoman from Hawaii is recognized. Mr. Chair, I would accept the amendment. However, I would also like to present Mr. Bishop with one minute of my time. The gentleman from New York is recognized for one minute. Thank you very much, and I thank the gentlelady for yielding, and I thank her for offering this amendment. I just want to simply say, as I've made clear, I, uh, I do no, not support the underlying legislation, but this is a very prudent amendment that allows us to assess as we go forward whether or not this, this law, is in, uh, proposed law, is in the best interest of, of our nation's clean water and in the nation and in the interest of our, of our nation's health. So I commend the gentlelady for offering the amendment, I, and I'm... Uh, I'm very happy to hear that, uh, that this may be accepted. So thank you very much. I yield back the balance. The gentleman yields back. The gentlewoman from Hawaii reserves. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. I continue to reserve, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman from Ohio reserves. The gentlewoman from Hawaii is recognized. Mr. Chair, I believe with our unanimous consent to the amendment that they will accept the amendment with that amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Does the gentlewoman reserve or yield back? I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. <laughs> uh, I think we're having a little parliamentary procedure here, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I do think the uh, amendment will be in order in, uh, just shortly. Um, 
I think that uh, it is a good amendment, uh, and I want to commend uh, my colleague uh, for offering it because I think we'll, we'll get an accurate report from the EPA when they do their study that we're making progress because of 2018 or if we're going backwards. So I think it's important to have this uh, uh, amendment uh, amended to, to provide those words or reductions. And I yield my reserve time. Gentleman reserve yields time. back. What purpose does the gentlewoman from Hawaii rise? Mr. Chair, it's a procedural issue. I uh, ask for unanimous consent to accept the amendment. The clerk will report the modification. Modification to amendment number four by Ms. Hanabusa on line five, insert or reduction after increase. Is there objection to the modification? Is there objection to the modification? No. Without objection, so ordered. The question, on the, amendment the question is on the amendment as modified, offered by the gentlewoman from Hawaii. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.